video welcome to ka box let's test if you have not already subscribed to this channel kindly do so and if you like the video give them the thumbs up in this video we are going to talk about embedded arrays and object so in the previous video what we have learned is how can we make use of member access operator in case of object and if any key of the object has those hyphen or minus or space in the name of the key then we have to go for computed member access operator and in case of arrays we have seen that how can we retrieve a particular item stored at a specific location with the help of course member access operators now this is a little complex object and we are going to fetch values from this object all right so this object E M B O B J is already attached to the global scope. All right, and now we are going to look at it. So you see that this is one property. This is another property. Then one more property. If we expand the teachers, right? It is of type array. It has got three values: JavaScript, Java, Python. All right, and inside the tool, then you have got is an object and then this is the key and this key has got the value in the form of array same is the case with performance all right so if you expand functional you get this if you expand performance you get this and that's right so let's say you want to retrieve this particular value all right so how can you do that so we have to be very careful about the scope if you understand the scope right it's gonna be a piece of for you so this particular value bob suite right is there inside this array so it's the scope of this value so if you want to retrieve a value right and ignore its space what you get back is actually nothing all right so you can say like okay this is at index zero this is at index one so if you just do like this right you get nothing so the point here is you have to come to this particular key to be able to access its values okay how can we read here first of all so we say emp object the name of the object and inside that right what do we have so we have teachers and tools so if i use this right so this is what i get back okay so now i have got list of and I want to retrieve this particular value, so I have to come to the scope test, and its scope is security testing, all right. But here is a hyphen, right? So we know how to deal with that now. So we are going to use this, all right, and we say security testing, okay. And if I hit enter, okay, one extra, yeah, if I hit enter, so I'm able to access the items stored within this array. And now it's simple, right? So you want to fetch the second value. So how can you fetch the second value? Compute member access, you do this. Zero will fetch the first value. One will fetch the second value, all right? So this is what we want. So this is your path to this value, okay? Simple enough. Now let's take the another example of embedded array. And it's going to be a M B A R R. So this will give us this particular array, all right? And we want to let us execute this function this time. Okay. So how can we reach to this? Very simple. So we say item stored at. So this is stored at index zero, one, and two. So you say two, all right? That will return you the function, but you want to execute this. So to invoke a function, we briefly talked about it. You have to use these two brackets and you hit enter and then it's printed onto the console so this is how we can retrieve values stored at a specific index or embedded inside arrays and arrays embedded inside objects and different combination but as long as you understand the scope of the value it's a piece of cake right make sure that when you're working on this particular let's say verb tweet so you have to first come to this place 
because this place this key defines the scope of these values okay so that's about embedded arrays and object and how we can make use of member access and computed member access operators hope you like this thank you so much bye bye